Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post-market update dated 18th December 2023. The equity indices snapped their bull momentum and ended marginally lower in the volatile session on December 18th with Nifty around 21,400. At close, the Sensex was down 168.66 points, or 0.24% at 71,315.09, and the Nifty was down 38 points or 0.18% at 21,418.70. Top gainers were Bajaj Auto, Ardani Ports, Sun Pharma, Hindalco Industries and Reliance Industries, while losers were Power Grid Corporation, JSW Steel, Isisai Bank, ITC, and Tech Mahindra. Talking about the corporate segment, we have the market capitalization, MCAP, of Sun Pharmaceutical Industries, Sun Pharma, surpassed the RS3 Lark Craw mark on December 18 afternoon deals, as investors flocked to defensive plays in an otherwise subdued market. The stock of this pharma giant gained 2.5% to hit a 52 week high of 1,267 rupees per share on December 18. So far this year, Sun Pharma shares surged over 26% as against a 17% rise in the benchmark Sensex. The their max share soared over 6% on December 18 after brokerages maintained their positive views on the stock after an analysts meet. Analysts expect the company, whose margin expanded in the September quarter, to sustain growth over the next four quarters due to the project mix and higher international sales. International brokerage Jefferies has their max among its top industrial stock picks on strong order flows in the second quarter. Shares of Sterling and Wilson Renewable Energy zoomed 5% after promoter Shapaji Palonji and company sold 39.14279 equity shares or 2.06% stake in the company. At 10 a.m., the stock was trading at 432 rupees. On December 15, the Sterling and Wilson Renewable Energy promoter sold stakes worth 2.06% or 39.14279 equity shares through open market transactions at a price of 415.46 rupees per share. Plutus Wealth Management LLP bought 25 lakh shares or 1.3% stake in the company at a price of 410 rupees per share at the same time. As of September 2023, promoter holding in the company was 67.56% with Shapaji Palonji holding 18.3%. With this sale, their share will now be around 16.24%. Zydus Life Sciences share price gained 3% to hit a 52-week high of 672.35 rupees in. The early trade on December 18 after the company received final approval from the United States Food and Drug Administration to manufacture and market lacosamide tablets USP, 50 mg, 100 mg, 150 mg, and 200 mg lacosamide is indicated to treat partial onset seizures. It is also used with other medicines to treat primary generalized tonic-clonic seizures. Shares of Landmark Cars Limited surged 8% higher to 860 rupees in the early trade on December 18, as the company announced it entered southern India after getting the approval from Mercedes-Benz India for opening a workshop at Hyderabad. This workshop will be established by the listed company, Landmark Cars, the company said in a regulatory filing on December 16. Hof Services Limited in daily time frame is trading around 92.80 points with a change of 19.97% and is trading with a net volume of around 1.001 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 74.85 which is a good indication for the stock. While shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 81.18. Pagyanagar India Limited in daily time frame is trading around 88.05 points with a change of 19.96% and is trading with a net volume of around 500.125 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 77.50 which is a good indication for the stock. While shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 70.76. Times Guarantee Limited in daily time frame is trading around 98.30 points with a change of 19.95% and is trading with a net volume of around 84.955 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 78.15, which is a good indication for the stock. 
while shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 80.52. For the stock recommendation we have, Shalby looks good and can be bought at 320 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 312 rupees and a target of 339 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!